Okay, gentlemen, I am on the mic. Still waiting for Liam. Skive Magazine's broadcast of the 2014 European Ultimate Championships. Here we've got a game to decide who goes to the quarterfinals. This is Finland versus Spain in the power pools. I'm Liam Rosen here with Liam Grant. Both these teams have their Fan bases in the stands cheering them on. This Finnish mixed team, a much different roster than what has been known in past tournaments, like Worlds in Japan and the Maribor 2011 championships. See the full roster there. Many different club teams make up this roster. In fact, eight different clubs coming together to make up the national team. At their tryouts, they had 60 to 70 interested players, which is a, a rarity in Finland with many players choosing to play open and women's. But this time, one of their coaches, Giri Sarinen, was really the impulse behind putting together this strong mixed team. The project started in September 2014, and they've been training intensively since then. So Spain will start out here on defense, pulling to Finland. Liam, it should be a cracker of a game as both these teams fighting for the chance to go on to quarterfinals. Whoever wins will advance, whoever loses will go to the nine to 12 group. Yeah, everything's on the line for both of these teams. Finland starts out, Spain slow to get down and that disc is gonna be sent deep right away. It's too far, so Spain gets a break chance right away. The Finnish player diving at that disc. I don't think he ever really intended on getting a hand to it, but he knows the camera is watching and just decided to throw his body anyway. So Spain will go back and pick up the disc. Aitor Diaz from 
Wesker Spain, Bolskan Disc is his club team. Working with Nicky Chakman in the backfield. Diaz into Verdasco in the middle. Puish. Diaz again, he's got that low release. Chapman secures the disc under pressure. Diaz to Puig, overthrows. Puig Moray, Rosa. Finland getting another chance here. Interesting to see if they choose to puck it again. It's kind of a cross field wind blowing from the camera towards the grandstand, but also favoring the finish a bit right now. Leti Maki's gonna huck it with Puig right there, but receiver unable to make a play. He was just telegraphing that throw for days. Yeah, I saw a little bit of this Finnish team play earlier on the weekend. They definitely like to huck between the guys, especially if you're going downwind and try and play some territory game. So Spain will be faced with the difficult task of moving the disc back upwind. Diaz with it. That inside break through the center to Ferdasco. Ferdasco finding Puig. Chapman. Spain has got to open up that other side of the field. Ferdasco trying to make the athletic grab. Stops the disc. Be no foul call on that play. So a couple of mistakes here for Spain early. They've got to clean this up if they want to move on. Inside break from Finland and pops it right in for the score. So Finland goes up 1-0 early in an offensive hold. Casey Lyo flick there to open up the, the field. Two different approaches there in offense. You see the finish being very aggressive, going straight to the goal. Almost every time the Spanish trying to work it up, but struggling a little in this wind and just haven't settled their nerves yet. Leighton, Leitinen with the poll for Finland. If you're tuning in from Finland or Spain, send us a message on Twitter. You can tweet at Skyd Magazine or Skyd underscore Liam Rosen. That is a fantastic poll from Finland. Just curling off the side of that sideline. Julie Siata now with the disc into the center to Jorge, Rory wants the huck, and just stabs a woman in the stomach with the disc. Yeah, Rory winding up that backhand huck, he definitely had the deep receivers there, but just some unintentional contact picked up there. And you can tell when Kavanaugh wants the huck, he's got a big wind up. Kavanaugh, an Irishman, living in Barcelona for quite a few years. Turfs that back end. No remorse from Rory as he gets right back on defense. Lidis back on D. And Rory now coming in for the poach. Leitinen. Inside break and Spain have really got to get down. Jorge going to the ground finish the around break and it's just been breaks all day for Finland as they tow the line. 2-0, Finland takes the lead early. Finland going through their male players predominantly there. I wouldn't mind seeing the Spanish team calling for women on offense. I think they might have the stronger females. Roy won't be happy with his first point there but I'm sure we'll see him work his magic. Already has a silver medal for the European Beach Championships in the Mixed Division with Ireland for choosing to sp play with Spain this year. Yeah, Rory, although he's been living in Spain for some time, 
over five, six years now, he has chosen to go back and play with Ireland in national championships. He's actually one of the captains of that beach team in 2013. And this time playing with Spain, he says it's been a new experience for him. Maybe being one of the strongest players on a less experienced team. Diaz. Controlling the disc, the steady handler from Boliscan Disc. Into the center, Oaks drops it. Finland working it back down the field. Diaz with the near D, but Finland recovers. That just, just pops right up there. Finnish team with a hold on it. Right at the back of the end zone now. Havinen dumps to Ratileinen. Back again to Havinen. Great defense, great end zone defense from the Spanish, but they're just getting punished by these breaks, Liam. Yeah, good patient offense there from the finish. From jamming the lines, just swung it around. I don't think I've seen them throw to their female players yet. We have the roster sheet out, and I don't think we have that there. We don't have to bother learning the Finnish female names because they just ain't thrown to them. I was talking to Rory Kavanaugh earlier in the week. He says one of the weaknesses of the Spanish team is they're just getting punished by the arounds, just not covering the around break, and teams have been breaking them all day. So they'll take a timeout early after going down 3-0 to start, and I'm sure that's some of what the captains will be talking about. So Liam Rosen and Liam Grant here on Sky Magazine. Thanks for joining us. Captain Lidos Carlos Oliver talking it over. One of the captains of this team, a former competitive volleyball player from his hometown in Catalonia. We see that the Spanish ultimate community has kind of two main sectors. You have the the Islanders in the Canary Islands, and you have uh, your main Islanders. But I think we have a, a mix on this team. I definitely recognize some Islanders, like uh, Christina there. Christina Navasa. Lives in uh, Tenerife. Um, a lot of great tournaments as well in the Canaries. A lot of Europeans like to go down there for some winter sun and some beautiful beach ultimate. And I think two of the other sectors could be classified as native Spanish and also Foreigners. Spanish Ultimate has been very molded and shaped by foreigners over the years. Spanish Ultimate was actually brought to the mainland by a foreigner by the name of Rocky Beach, who founded the team Patatas Bravas in 1997. Many foreign players have come through cities like Barcelona and Madrid through the years. Rory with an athletic grab amid the pressure calls the foul. Won't be happy about that one. Rory gets it into Jorge. Garcia. Garcia sending it deep for Rory. What a beautiful disc from Jorge Garcia. The Corragota player not normally known for his throws. He's more of a defender and cutter, but just putting that out on a plate for Kavanaugh to run into. Yeah, that was a buttery biscuit. Yeah, definitely you see them doing it the other way around a lot more. Rory likes to jack it with uh, Jorge being a great target man. Fantastic player for Cordicata, especially on the sand. I've had to come up against him a few times, he usually gets the better of me. And a really, really nice chap as well.
again. I don't know if you've seen a Finnish woman on the disc. Surprise, Nazi Spain calling four women in offense. Or at least the Spanish to try and uh, either poach off of the female players more. If they're not comfortable doing it, maybe maybe we'll force some turnovers that way. But uh, it's so important to the defense to ask different questions of this Finnish team. Diaz with the pole in Spain has been really slow getting down on these poles. It's another thing that I don't think is valued enough in Spanish ultimate or ultimate in general is just getting down fast on the pole and trying to force the turn. Sorsa thinks about throwing to a woman but looks it off. Sorsa, I've definitely seen him line up with sexy legs in the next team. A uh, fantastic player. Oscar Osquita with the second effort D. So Spain priming themselves for a break here. As the Spanish supporters in the section shout, Si se puede, yes we can. The poach off from Finland. Spain will swing it around. A vicious break and Oaks with another brutal drop. In all fairness, that disc was just whipped into her uh, awful, awful high release backhand from Finland, but somehow it works out. Feaster now. Working with Kaliukoski. Kaliukoski into the end zone. Mitre Sorsa. And Finland up 4 1. Very unfortunate for Spain. They almost had the chance to get the score there and get the break. Having seen all three Finnish teams play now, um, that's not, not including the women's masters team. It seems like they've stacked this mixed team, especially the men. Sorsa, a musician I've seen before lying in for Sexy Legs, who've done very well on the, the mixed scene in Europe. Really are running the show here. He's also got light, lots of experience. He actually represented Finland in 2007 at EUC in Southampton. Uh, 2008 and 2011. 32 years old. So Jan Nahavinen on the pole. And Spain clearly just needs to take a lesson in stopping poles. As Kavanaugh picks up, looking for Siata. Nice break there from Kavanaugh. Finding Litos, saucy throw across the stack and a flick hook, twin to twin. What a shot! Beautiful disc. Perfection, Limo. A great cross field feathery flick. Made it so hard for the Finnish defender to read. The brotherly connection working well there. And yeah, you'll notice that these two are brothers, Dorta Alberto, Alejandro, and Pablo. Pablo, 23, Alejandro, only 20. And these two come from the Canary Islands. With large ultimate tradition among them. So putting another point on the board for Spain. We'll take another look. One of the best flick hucks we've seen all day. Yeah, it's important to get a bit of outside in on those flick hucks downwind. If you send it too flat and zippy, a lot of times the wind will just tear it out the back. But that one's sitting up and giving the receiver time to read it. Looks like offsides was called on the Spanish team. That'll be a re-pull. Yeah, I think they might have been offside, but they weren't getting up there fast, were they? That's a problem they've struggled with. 
all game, all tournament, seemingly. Still a bit sleepy from their siesta earlier on. Aitor Diaz in his second cap for Spain. He's also played in the mixed division on the beach in 2013. Successful campaign for a Spanish mix. They're not too experienced on the grass service as a hook goes up. Diaz needs to take position here and just swats it away. Aitor Diaz, the Bolscan disc player and captain, getting up for the D. Take another look at this one. Diaz just swatting it away. And Spanish audience loving that one. The big man having no trouble getting up there. And again, that filthy D. I'm not sure what was going on with that horizontal stack formation there. Players are just all over the place. Diaz is going to send the flick up to Oaks. Hosea just getting backpacked by the Finnish defender. And that is not what you like to see. Yeah, he was terribly late in that one and just coming through on his shoulder and both players down hurt and not surprised. That was an absolute clanger. Yikes. How not to bank a bid 101 from Thomas Pister. Navasa to Puish. Puish finding Diaz. Diaz all the way across the field. What a flick from Aitor Diaz. Josue finding Diaz again. Diaz doing quite a bit of pointing there again. Flips up the backhand break. Josue into the middle to Asquita. And Diaz just controlling this offense again. Puts it right out. Oscar's going to run out for it. The layout. Klapkic. Oscar Rosquita. Goal, Spain. Absolutely fantastic point. <laughs> Incredible play. Diaz tearing that team apart. Pointing to where he wants players to go, and he just puts it on a platter for them. And Oscar having to get horizontal to make that grab. Stunning stuff from the Spanish team. Representing the Murcielagos team from Valencia, Spain. Always known as a very, very tireless runner and deep cutter, especially on the beach. And like we were saying, a lot of these players have a lot of beach experience, but not so much grass. There's just so many beaches in Spain. Able to get a lot more experience there. Oscar also a very fun person at the parties, but a flamboyant guy. Uh, no joke, before the game, I was asking anyone if they had any sporting accomplishments outside of Ultimate. He told me he once got second place in a high-heeled race at a gay, pri gay pride parade, which I thought was a fantastic accomplishment. I'd like to meet the, meet the man who beat him. <laughs> So send us in your comments on Twitter, skyed underscore Liam Rosen. Or Sky Magazine, Finland, setting this one deep. Sorsa, who else? Takes his eyes off it for one second in Spain with another chance for a break. Yeah, that flick hook not executed very well. Made it very hard for Sorsa to adjust in the air. It's kind of coming over his head. Still should have caught it though. He won't be happy with himself. So disc coming right into the center. Very high disc for Lidus, but no problem for the former volleyball player. Puish. 
comes back to Travi. Moss, Chapman. Travi with an open shot. Takes the flick up to Letus. Tireless cutter, Letus is gonna send it deep for Navasa. Spain with the break! 4-4, the Spanish tie it up, flying onto the field in celebration. The Spanish are awake and kicking, Liam. The siesta is well and truly over. They're bringing it to the finish now, using their female cutters downfield to punch in that goal. And a Finnish female player looks to be very injured here, being carried off. And very sad sight to see another injury. Finland's already had four players out for injury, so they'll be down one more. 21 total players. That's number 36, Heidi Paunonen. In the industry, one of the younger players, only 20 years old. And there will be a timeout taken, so Liam and I will recoup and see you again after this timeout. Back on line up to the timeout, and Spain came out of that pause, fired up with the support of the Spanish fans in the stands. They'll now look to get another break on Finland. And Finland overthrows their women. Spain now on the run. Navasa with it. Tabernet, physical defense from the Finns. Navasa looking, Tabernet finding Diaz. He's been money for Spain so far. Swinging, Stalkout's getting high. He's forced to put up an absolute blade to Josue Verdasco. And somehow it works. Spain is on an absolute tear through this game. Diaz is having a gargantual game. He can't do anything wrong. Once that disc leaves his hands, it's, it's always going to a Spanish player. And he has the vision for such unusual throws and looks. The approach was there, but I didn't think there was any way he could get that disc to his receiver. This man has the vision and the power. And Liam, I think if Finland wants to get back in this game, they need to learn how to throw to their women. I think that was the first attempt to throw into a women. And, and it was a female, turnover. It was a turnover. So yet to touch the disc, I think, any of the Finnish female players. So Spain on a run now with the support of their crowd. Finland, on the other hand, looking desperate, dejected. Their offensive line will try to do it again. Lady Pole stopped by Finland. Lekti Makti. 
a turnover again, and Finland is just out of their element. Spain on a roll here. Pablo Dorta will pick up. Dorta to Chapman. Chapman slips. Gets it over to Garcia. Garcia in the Siata. Siata needs to stay patient here. It's a strip called. The Finnish female player finally getting her hand on the disc. It wasn't, it was actually oh, yeah. the uh, Lektimakti coming through for the defense. So Siata needing to look for the dump here. Tough reset. Jorge's got his hands on it. So whatever way is going to work for Spain. What a spike from Jorge and Spain can't believe it. They're up 6-4. Just crushing Finland's hopes and dreams at this point. A flash of inspiration there from the Spanish. The Finnish men really poaching off a lot. And yeah, leaving the Spanish with difficult throws, but the creativity from the Spanish has been fantastic. And it may not have been the prettiest throw in the world, but it got there. This is a stronger Spanish mixed team than in years past. Clearly some of the best players from many different club teams around the country have shown up to represent Spain in this competition. Spain in all five divisions, I believe. They've got a strong representation here in London, which is great to see because there have been times where Spain hasn't sent anyone, for example, to Japan. There were only three or four players in the entire country interested in attending the World Ultimate and Guts Championships in Japan. So Finland will work the disc back in. It's gonna be a tough task against the wind. But there's a reason they've made it this far. So Spain cannot let up on defense. Sadinen just putting up a beaut of a disc. So Finland getting one back. Going the other way, 5-6. Both Spanish players misreading that one badly. Really need to stick with their receivers. Play the man a bit more. Both of them went up and attacked it too early and left the two lads with an easy uh, goal to punch in. Very, very nice flick hook. Just perfect position on that one. Great work by our Finnish camera crew, who I'm sure were cheering that goal. It's been a delight having them here. Fantastic work. I don't think I've ever seen footage quite like this in Ultimate Liam. Shout out to Jere, our production manager who plays with many of these players on Vasa Saints in the summer. And he told me last night they're going into the third round of their championships very soon, so good luck to him on that. Rabi to Jorge. Jorge finding Litos. Litos all the way across the field to Navasa. Navasa in the Jorge. Very nice upline shot to Litos. And Spain now on the line, puts it again for Jorge. Very easy point from the Spanish, and they're gonna need a lot of more points like that if they wanna stay ahead in this game. Jorge seems to have a patented spike there. Throws it down and uh, ropes his forehead. I don't know what that <laughs> signifies. Bug bites, surely. Take another look at this one. Lita's just popping it up for Jorge. And Spain just working it up the open side of the field.
Finland went to one preparatory tournament before this event. Windmill wind up, they actually finished sixth, a very good result for them. They did lose to the German mixed team at that event, but were able to beat the Slovakian team. And another beautiful flick hook, a misread by Spain. Fister now with it, looks for the inside break. Near D from Puig. Diaz tracking that disc. Lektivaki a huge hammer, but hose away in the way. The Korakota player gets up high for the D on the high hammer. Yeah, great D inside an end zone. Finland having great success with their deep game though, especially those flick hucks. I feel Spain could adjust a bit better to shut those down. We haven't really seen them do anything different on defense. Now they're winning the game, so but I think that's more to do with their stellar offense so far. I think that's something that Spanish Ultimate has always had trouble with, is making the correct adjustments frequently teams instead of saying hey we need to do this differently we'll simply say guys we're not playing as hard we just need to play harder which really isn't the right answer turnover from Spain late Dinan picks the disc puts it into play and a poach D from Josue I tore, sending it up. Josue is going to have to box out. This is just a hospital pass. It's all going to be about who reads it better, but more finished defense in the way. The so. infallible Diaz looking more fallible there. And Rasanin to Rintimaki. I think that we can clock that as the first time a Finnish female player has yes. had possession too. Pass on in again, back to Pfister. Injury on the field. This looks potentially very serious. Could be an ankle. Currently walking like I have been all week. Nice hop, skipping a jump to the sideline. Sage, the young player, only 23 years old. Off the pitch. He'll be replaced by Captain Nikki Chapman. It looks like he maybe stepped on. He's holding his toe. Huck too far for the finish team. Spain doing well to generate some turns. Great poaching off them. I don't even see the poaches myself up here. I just look up and see when the lads drifting off. And that's Great. no doubt being instilled to them by some of Kavanaugh's logic. He's a big fan of the poach, especially in mixed ultimate. Unusual to see the Spanish team setting up in a Offset for its stack. Diaz breaks off the line immediately to Puish. Oaks now with it. We have Hoseway going deep. But blocked. Tabernet finding Oaks. And Diaz very lucky to save that disc. He's got to get it off the line now. Diaz putting it up again. Another floaty disc. Perhaps not managing that wind as well as he could have, but Finland comes in and knocks it down. And that's a very tough disc to put it up that line and perhaps a thrower with more experience as we saw in the Belgian Open game, the France Open game earlier, but in this type of ultimate, that throw just won't work. So Lektimaki. Brings the disc back in. Activates his dump. Chapman doing a fantastic job on dump defense. Lektimaki forced to make a 
tough play. Around to Leitinen. Up in the air. Puish almost gets the D just a bit too late. Diaz doing a great job of poaching. Fantastic defense from Spain here. Rasanin finally gets free. And a throwaway from Finland. And that's certainly due to the great defense that Spain was playing on that D point. Yeah, the sneaky Spanish popping up everywhere, shutting down the throwing lanes. And a timeout call by Diaz. Great call. Great call. This would put Spain up 8 5 if they're able to punch this in and would be their biggest lead so far. So Spain, a very happy celebratory team as you can see here, singing, chanting. This is sure to get their spirits up as they go into this timeout. The Finnish not as big singers, but they do enjoy good sauna. Unfortunately, we are far, far from a sauna right now. So we have these team surveys that the teams fill out when they want to give us information and the Finnish wrote a bit of information about themselves. They say, we might be very happy and joyful, but others don't get it because of our language. And they quoted uh, the Spanish phrase, Mina rakastan sinua, which means I love you in English. And it says, doesn't sound so nice. So maybe when they're saying, Mina rakastan sinua, everyone thinks they're yelling at them. It's but also written down that the Finnish language sounds like Japanese backwards. That was certainly a new fact for me. And the Spanish cheering section just absolutely killing it here in the stands. We've got the open and women's master squads. And that's something that the Spanish have always been very good at is just banding together and being very proud and supportive of their country. Certainly country that's been going through some hard times ever since the recession hit. They're still in the midst of an economic crisis, but always great to see that more younger players are taking a big role. Some of these under 25 year olds. Spain is also for the first time recently instituted a university ultimate championships, which is just another step to becoming more dominant on the world stage. Yeah, most of the top nations feed off a college championships and recruiting through universities as people try and make new friends and try different sports. And the Spanish have been lagging behind on that one, but hopefully catching up now. Diaz. Diaz threads the needle to Chapman, and he just needs to track it down. He does. 8-5. And Diaz has been on target for the Spanish. The Magician waving his wand once more. I don't know if that was a set play or it just... It was very pretty, that's for sure. Aitor Diaz has been someone that is just a natural handler. I played against him maybe when he'd been playing Ultimate for about a year and a half when I first arrived to Spain. And even then, his throws were already far above anyone else on his team and probably mine at that point. He just has a natural affinity for how the disc moves, how it spins. As a lifetime cutter myself, I've never quite understood how it works. And you probably never will, Liam. That's the sad thing. <laughs> Keep watching Diaz and hopefully you can learn a few tricks. <laughs> Keep sending in your messages on Twitter, skyed underscore Liam Rosen. Si estás en España mirando esto, Nos puedes mandar, mandar mensajes en español para que los leamos en vivo. Just telling the Spanish fans as well, if they can't understand English, to send us some messages. Hard defense here from the Spanish team. Lectinen. Finding Rasan, and she's been their most consistent lady so far. Lektimaki. Far side to Feaster. Feaster into the middle. Puish. 
Sorsa was thinking about sending it deep. He holsters. Rasan in another turnover. And fair play, good patience by Spain to let their offense set up as they'll get into a vertical stack. Not sure quite what the play call was there. Roja looking into the middle for Navasa. Navasa, tough throw. Pablo Dorta unable to track it down. That just caught the wind. We see Roy Kavanagh on the sideline with his jacket on. We haven't seen him on in a few points. I'm wondering if he's okay. Certainly hasn't had to do too much to get this Spanish team back in the game. It looks like a possibly a straight up defense from Spain. Sorsa. Pivoting, sends it deep. And Litos is gonna have to make a fantastic play. He does! Great defense. That has been the key for Spain's success in this game so far. I feel the Finnish player was a little too casual on that one. Could have got up a little earlier. Also giving his defender a channel to attack that disc. You would want to step across and uh, keep your butt between you and your defender. He won't be happy to himself. And his brake train just keeps on rolling for the Spanish. So Pablo Dorta, the Canary Islander, spent some time in Santander with the longtime Spanish champions, Corracota. And I think sent that disc deep about five seconds too late. Yeah, I'm not sure who he was trying to pick out there. I think he was trying to get Litos streaking deep from the handler position, but Got a little too excited. I thought he was trying to hit Navasa coming under, but he Lexi wasn't Maki hitting. Finding Fister. Leitinen. Leitinen up the line. A floaty throw brought down by Fister. Fister's going to put it all the way to the other side of the field. Oscar's going to try to make a play. <laughs> The Finnish player Sorsa doing a great job of getting his body in the way. Near play by Oscar, the fast man. And I think you're right, Liam. The Finns have just been too casual there in the end zone, just waiting for the disc to come to them. And Spain has been going up and attacking it. But Finland gets one on the board. So only down 8 6. Sorsa, the sorcerer, keeping that disc levitating. Somehow rescuing it. Fister got up the second time early. Didn't make the same mistake twice. Shout out to Passi Mela, who has sent us some information about the Finnish team over email. Long time Finnish player. And who's surely watching this game. And his team is gonna need a lot more of those to get back into this game. Yeah, that was a important score for the finish, notably upwind. We see Roy back on, obviously just a strictly online player. Possibly upwind player as well, Rory known for his throws in the wind. Navasa back to Kavanaugh. Kavanaugh busts it deep. Right to the back of Torta. Navasa tracking it down. Navasa cross field to Seattle. Drops it. Torta on the mark. 
this Finnish player is unmarked. Reti Landen completely without a mark, but drifts the disc a bit too far, and the Finns have just yet to figure out this wind. Yeah, they've tried sending it deep to their female receivers a couple of times now and haven't connected on any of them. Setting them too high and too zippy for their, for their players to track them down. And is able to win like this going down when you don't want any of this to fly out the back. You wanted to hang and land in the end zone. Put enough fluff on it. Spain will take their time to set up here in this horizontal stack. Using lots of different stacks of Spanish. We've seen kind of an offset V. We've seen um, almost a split as well. Obviously, they've been preparing their offense quite a lot. It's going to be a foul on Garcia. Yeah, again, looking for Navasa on the dump. Navasa threads it through to Garcia again. Back to Kavana. Kavana cross field. Navasa. Now to Diaz. Diaz sending it in. It's hand blocked, and Oaks can't get the second attempt. So Alejandra Dorta on the mark. Very nice mark from Dorta, but throw gets off. And Finland just threads it right through the middle. So Finland, another point, and that one's big. That puts them within one on Spain. But the Spanish have been broken twice in the last two points. Nothing wrong with that Spanish offense, just the lapse in concentration. Two drop discs that should have been easily caught. And the finish punishing them effectively. here in the stands as the pole comes off right near the Spanish brick mark. Travi to Litos. Litos finding Travi up the line. Travi looking to open up the field. Sends it back to Litos. Spain will need to manage these poaches in the wind. Chapman sending it deep. Litos is there. What a throw from Nicky Chapman. The Murcielagos player. And Litos with the goggles. Chapman started playing ultimate in England before moving back to Valencia, Spain, where he plays for the recently successful Murcielagos club team. Did well to pick that throw out. And I didn't even see the option open. I was thinking, who did he throw it to? But Litos streaking deep. The vision of these Spanish players is very impressive. Yeah, taking on a lot of throws that many English, Irish, US players wouldn't, wouldn't see. If there's someone in the lane, we generally don't hook. We want a nice, clear lane to throw, but the Spanish capable of taking on these outside in big hawks or cross field or threading the needle through the crowd. So lots to talk about for both teams as we go into halftime. Liam Rosen here from Sky Magazine here with Liam Grant. We'll join you after the break.
Thank you. Oh, that's the best thing anyone's ever told me. Lick the monkey. Lick the monkey. I just mumble because I don't want anyone to know that I'm from. Do you have like the list? I do have the list, yeah. I went over the pronunciation before the game and they said that I was doing okay. But then I forgot. <laughs> well, see, because so, I don't know them, so I'm like looking and then I have to look down and then I'm like, oh, press it and then I look up and they don't have the disc anymore. And I'm like, oh. If this team only has like eight players, then I can do it.
cuidado, cuidado, cuidado. ¿Alguien puede ir a buscar? No, pero tú crees, igual es solo un clash. Pero por eso te digo que descansa. Oh, acá se va, esto me va. Back here after the break. Finland's going to pull off to Spain. Liam Brandt and Liam Rosen with Sky Magazine. The two Liams combining, Liam squared. So, I actually got a note here from Pasi Roimela. He says, Fem Finnish female playmakers and throwers are injured. It really narrows down their options. So that could be one explanation for the relative lack of throwing to the women. <laughs> Rory with a cheeky offhand throw to Kelly Moss. Moss finding Chapman. Chapman back to Kavanaugh. Kavanaugh up in the air. Jorge can't hold on to it. Nathan in up line. No huck from Modenius. That's gonna float up in the air. Rory trying to get position on it. What a great D from Rory Kavanaugh. It's been a very fairly clean game so far. Not too many calls, a couple of physical plays. Roy getting his fingernails onto that one. And now streaking deep. Chapman 
with the disc. Going to put it all the way up to the other side of the field. Rory making a very athletic grab. And <laughs> just puts that disc up in the air. And I think that's a bit of conservation of greatness here. There, and Rory very much known for that, I believe. In fact, if you look on Facebook, there's a little video of him <laughs> uh, at Calafe Arena titled The Definition of Conservation of Greatness. Highly recommend you to look that one up. Plenty of great clips of Rory out there. I don't know if you've ever seen the Rylands clip. I have, yeah, Mr. 33. So the Rylands was an attempt in the UK to make some sort of professional ultimate with referees and Rory became known uh, on Eurodisc, the listserv for intentionally fouling one of the players. Much outrage from the European community, of course. Finland, meanwhile, working it back up. Leighton in. Throws it out of bounds. Yeah, Rory squishing all attempts in the UK of making professional <laughs> ultimate, demonstrating why the spirit of the game works so well in comparison. <laughs> Chapman has the disc back in. Up to Dorta. Dorta puts a disc. That must be to Jose, who reads that perfectly. And Liam, time and time again, we see throws that we wouldn't classify as the most normal or average decisions, but they just end up working for the Spanish. They're really getting the luck of the wind here. You know, those spicy options that others look off, the Spanish team seem to crave. Jose on the same third of the field there. So just very hard to throw an outside in hook, so steps in and shows the kind of IO backhand looping back in. And the Finnish player going up way too early there. Definitely could have made a bid. Absolutely. Spanish very lucky that uh, the Finns aren't reading so well on defense. We've seen the Spanish switch to kind of a flat mark on the force. At the start of this game when Finland took the lead, they were utilizing the break side so well, catching out the Spanish again and again. So they made their clever switch to a straight up force. So there is no real break side and open side. And since then, the Finnish have been struggling to get their offense going. Finland working it down. Fister to Havinen. Havinen overthrows. Sarah Hittanen. Diaz will pick back up, looking for Oaks. A fast cutter from the USA, playing for Quixotes, Dulceneas. Taberger across the field. Sage into Josue. Josue putting it up for Taberger. And I think that's a down disc. Puig making a valiant effort to make a play on it. Oaks on the D. Finland still working it around. Sorsa. Sorsa is going to send it deep with a flick hook. And Oaks trailing her mark, but no matter, as that disc just flies too far. Yeah, again, not a touch on that disc. The finished receiver is never going to get there. A good shot, definitely had separation, but again, with these downwinds, better to underthrow your receiver than to overthrow. Diaz will take his time to set the disc back up. Spain in a horizontal stack. Finland really poaching off the receivers there, but Diaz doing a good job to immediately break the mark. And an overthrow from Spain. So Finland with a very short field now. Sage on the mark. Gets it in the Kaliokoski. Back 
to Havinen. Havinen breaks the mark. And Finland all the way to the other side of the field. Sera Hitanen getting low for that catch. Finland back within two. Spain up 10-8. Spain transition to a side force. When the Finland get uh, near the end zone, and that seems to actually suit them more. I nearly stick with the straight up. Kind of an unusual thing to do, but when they have that side force and they can set their offense, they're very clinical. They hit those breaks and get the continuation every time. Shout out to the lads from Polskandisk from Huesca, Spain, who are all watching the game. Some of my friends there, they put on a fantastic tournament in Huesca, the Parilla Open. We've played that a couple times. Very, very fun, very, very hot tournament. This pull goes up. Rory Kavanaugh with the disc now. And finish still poaching off that side handler. Travi pivots and gets it into Mosquita. Litas just catches it by his fingernails. Litas really wants to put that deep to Navasa. And what a throw from Litas, but Navasa just can't catch up. One of the faster women on the team, but a bit of an overthrow on this one. Navasa, a very nippy receiver, and I thought that one was good. She may have stepped across and attacked it earlier. Ooh. <laughs> Doing the bit of face plant there and eating some grass. Yeah. Hitting uh, the turf like a sack of spuds there. the disc. Need to work this upwind. Nice flow from the Finns, but too fast as it's knocked out of the air and down, nearly saved by the Finnish team. Litas picks back up. Kavanaugh. Moss. sure what the dump position is here and Moss is just forced to put it to the other side of the field. Oscar nearly stays in but a great D from the Finns. And I'm not sure what the dump plan there was for Spain. There was two dumps standing very very near to the disc. Finland thinks about the deep shot right away. Sastamoinen Looking for the dump, Pietila. No deep cuts coming for the Finns this time. Spain again really varying that defense, making every throw hard. Sastamoinen puts it deep, and Litos is trailing, but he has the opportunity to make a play on this disc, and what a play he does. Litos jumping out of the building. Plucking and Rory that one. Oh. It's gonna put it deep the other way. Navasa is there. Can't she make a play on it? No, the fins come down the other way. That was a great help, D. And Rory again just getting a little saucy with those deep shots. It's tough and mixed, Liam, to see a woman so wide open and then have your guy peel off and make a play on a disc like that. Roy being a bit hasty there after a fantastic grab, being plucked out of the stairs by the Spanish player and handing it back down to the finish. Roy definitely not. Deep shot going up. Kavanaugh applying some pressure there along with Travi, so it's been Huck and D from both teams. Travi, the backhand break, there'll be a foul call.
You see Julie Sieta on the sideline there. Actually injured herself during half time, just throwing around. And the Spanish team have some very strong women, but they don't have that many, so. <laughs> Rory putting the forehand all the way to the other side of the pitch. And Lita's boxed out by the defender, not able to get up high enough. So a sloppy point from both teams. That flick a little too feathery again from Rory. His stat sheet isn't looking too good so far in this game. But as everyone knows, Rory doesn't play for the stats. He plays for the win. And Litas got a very high vertical jump, but not high enough on that one. So Finland back in. A blady disc. And I wouldn't be surprised to see some sort of timeout call. This wobbly wind creating havoc in Copenhagen. It's actually warmed up a little bit from early in the day. Still no sign of the sun though. It's okay, us Leams work best in darkness. Very true. Irish roots, Travi gets it into Litos. Spain is, Spain has really got to get it off the line, but having a lot of trouble. Saucy throw, possibly a stall out. And no contest from that. So Litos unfortunately stalled as Finland goes the other way. Travi on the mark, Sarinen, up line. Nice grab from Rintimaki. Now she's just got to get the dump off. And suffocating Mark from the Spanish. Able to get it off to Sarinen. Sarinen with a chance to get it to within one. Litos going back. What a nice shot from Sarinen. That was an indoor throw, and the Finns play a lot of indoor. Sarinen showing he has the creativity as well to hit those difficult shots. Nice that twinkle toes on the sideline there. Had to employ some ballerina moves to stay in bounds and then hits a difficult shot. Sarinen, they call Mr. Mixed Ultimate of Finland. His playing style described as reckless but fair. Another interesting fact, he's got the biggest feet on the team. Showing the disc to the camera. <laughs> I love it. I love the bravado. Some Finnish fans in the span in the stands and Spanish fans. This game is heating up as Finland has just brought it to within one point. This game more exciting than a cheerleader on a trampoline right now, Rosie. Sake into Dorta Alberto. Sake in power position on the flick hook. What an amazing box out from Jorge. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how you box out textbook offense from the man from Korakota. It looks like there was a call downfield, a travel called on that throw. Yeah, phenomenal boxing out. Uh, he's done it to me many of the times before, and it's frustrating as a, as a defensive player. You know you can go make a bid on that disc and then you just, all you get is uh, someone's back to stare at and watch it sail over you. So Sage gets it up line to Diaz. A very nice up line shot to Sage. Diaz into Jorge. Jorge playing through tons of contact. Saucy throw down to Alberto. Aitor will swing it around. And Aitor, I think the Finns are finally figuring out Diaz's propensity for those inside breaks. They're starting to play him a bit more I.O. And he's had two throws hand block now. Dorta. Finland sending it deep. Diaz is there. No matter though, is Finns have just unable to been unable to figure out how to send it deep correctly to that end zone. Exceptional foot block on Diaz by the Finns earlier on. 
I think with this man you have to use your feet on that force. He releases so low and so quickly that you should be throwing your toes up and you might get a piece of it, which he did. Just coming back in as the sun finally peeking out through the clouds here. And the disc sails too high, it's dropped by Rosa. Dorta on the mark. Sadinen trying to get it off. Very nice backhand break. And Aitor. Wow. Finland on the save, but it's dropped. <laughs> Unbelievable. That would have been incredible. We've seen so many second efforts today, but Disc is just dropped. Take another look at this. Oh. Just by the fingernails. Bamboozling blunders there in a row, Rosie. Diaz with the fakes. Getting his defender off balance, and I think Spanish are going to have to work it up here, but Diaz hucks it away. Just checked in. Across the field, Sastamoinen with the disc. Sastamoinen finding Kitanen. Kitanen looking for the dump. Gets it all the way over. Quite a nice dump look from Kitanen. And Sadinen line is towed in Finland with some momentum. They tie it up. Breaking the Mac and could be breaking Spanish hearts here. The classical move from the finish. Keep sending in those Twitter comments. We'll read them out live on air. Liam Rosen and Liam Grant here from Sky Magazine. You can find us at skyd underscore Liam Rosen, S K Y D underscore L I A M R O S E N. Thanks to Polskan Disc. Luis Cado. Jessica Alcorn, who I played against in Spain, says, Saludos desde España. Una predicción para el puesto final de España he visto. Pues, pues vamos a ver, ¿no? Vamos a ver. Is there'll be a timeout here. <laughs> Spanish fans now doing the wave and Liam and I will take a break and we'll catch up with you after this timeout. We'll come back in after the timeout. Spain regrouping after being broken three times in a row. Offside call there by the Spanish.
Yeah, I think that was a good call by the Spanish. That one offside. As we know, the finish would be penalized if they're offside again, so... I'm sure they'll take great care in running up with this one. Kaliokoski with the pole. Very nice pole from Finland. Chapman centers to Kavanaugh. Kavanaugh, no options downfield. This back to Chapman. Lead us. Lead us on the mark. Disc back to Chapman. Chapman into the middle. Navasa getting up high for that one. Navasa finds Kavanaugh. Kavanaugh. It looks like there's a pick called. Disc will go back to Kavanaugh, I believe. Yeah, Navasa and Oscar just gliding in the lanes there, and definitely a pick. Navasa has been one of the most athletic female players I've seen in this tournament. Uh, she has a great running open. technique. Chapman in trouble. Puts it up to space for Kavanaugh. And I into Navasa. Pick called again. Navasa forcing Rory to lay out for a spicy upline throw. It's not enough, not enough air on that one. She won't be too happy about that. That one, Rory making an effort but can't track it down. Isoyarbi to Saloila. Looking for the cross field shot. Very, very nice. Another dicey throw from Finland. Isoyarvi again. Back to Kaliokoski. Too far. Litos has Chapman going deep. What a shot from Litos to Nikki Chapman. Beautiful throw, and the crowd goes wild here for Spain. Laying down the law there. Punishing the finish straight away. As soon as that disc was floating in the air, Chapman has already gone deep. He knew his uh, teammate was going to rip that one out of the air, and he was getting ready to catch it in the end zone. And there's the fast break offense. So Spain showing they will not be stopped here. And Lita's competent thrower just putting enough float on that disc to bring it right in. Yeah, that's how you throw downwind. Quite a high outside in throw. So it'll fall quickly as, as opposed to uh, flying out the back of the end zone. Shout out to our sponsors as we're sitting here. VC Ultimate, Look Fly, outfitted us in these sweet jerseys. Spain coming down on defense. No zones being shown so far from the Spanish. Preferring to play man defense. Fister sends it deep. There's two women there underneath the disc. But no jumping from the Spanish women as Finland gets an easy one. Finally, the Finnish executing that deep shot. Downwind to one of their female players. Again, maybe the Spanish had a, had a chance to get into D there, but most importantly, giving their receiver a chance to make a play, and she does very well there. And Jota Bulamo. A long-time player in Finland. She started playing just after when Worlds was in Turku in 2004.
Rosa just not getting the right read on this disc. She was going away from it, eyes on her receiver. Clearly some more reps of the swill drill needed for the Spanish team. Moss doing a fantastic job of faking Rory out there as a player goes down in the midfield. Colliding with Jorge is not a fun way to go about your day. That man has a lot of muscle on his body. Physical edu education teacher in his hometown of Santander in northern Spain. And Jorge looks like he was fouled. <laughs> Thought maybe the disc would have slipped out of his hands, but experienced player usually not one to make a mistake like that. Jorge, Sani Sage, Sage is gonna float it up for Rory, but not sure what the idea was there. Yeah, Rory faking deep and actually coming under just as that disc went up, so he ended up being in a very poor position to make a play in that. So Finland, with a chance here to possibly go up one take the lead for the first time in a while. Suffocating defense from Sage, and Spain just has to swarm this disc. Great work by Jorge again. Jorge Garcia, such a strong component of the Spanish team. Sage looking for Kavanaugh blind. There's a call on the field. Offensive foul, interesting. Or possibly Rory called the foul and the players are just contesting it. Just coming back in. Navasa open under, as she usually is. Having a hard time getting the reset off. Navasa just has to throw it up. Jorge almost makes the grab, but it's not enough. Finland off to the races. Leitinen. Near Finland's brick mark now, just putting it out to space. Beautiful undercut from the Finns. Mikonaho. Navasa Ooh. comes out of nowhere for the poach D and just puts enough pressure that the player Johnson, Navasa, putting her body on the line for the Spanish team. This woman made of steel. I thought she could have banged her head there. I was very worried. This Ooh. is not the only sport that Navasa's excelled in. She's actually a world champion in the sport of fronton, which for the viewers that might not be familiar, it's a Latin American and Spanish based sport. She's on the sub-22 team. Her and her partner were doubles world champions. It's very similar to Basque Pelota. She has taken an injury sub now. Doing it all for the team. And with these teams tied at 11-11, they've just got to put one in here. Oaks on the reception. Spain really struggling with their resets. And Rory <laughs> trying for the greatest. Spain is just trying to jam it up that sideline. It's not gonna work. They've gotta break the mark and they must work it up the center of the field. Debate on whether the dish should come in up the sideline or, or where, where Rory attempted his greatest. We'll come in on the line. Foul called on the mark. <laughs> Leighton in working with it. Great defense from the Spanish. Jorge gets up and rips it out of the air. And Rory looking for Jorge again. 
bookends for Jorge Garcia. The Spanish crowd is loving it. Jorge looking unstoppable right now, taking in that buttery biscuit from Kavanaugh. Phenomenal play. And the Spanish defense has really improved since the adjustments were made earlier in this game. Great bid by the Finnish player. Uh, only inches away from getting that block. Finland looking to equalize now on their offense points. Kaunonen, she was injured earlier. A key player for Finland back in the game. This will certainly help us in the late game. Kaunonen again, fiery flick. Across the backside and a hook goes up from the finish. Two Spanish defenders underneath. Beautiful shot. Absolutely beautiful from Finland to equalize here with only six minutes left before the cap. Yeah, we're seeing the big faces again here for Finland. The injured player back in, Sorsa getting involved again. They know this one's gonna go down to the wire and this is the key moment. We're at the business end of this game. And you see the key players taking into the line to try and Book a spot for their team in the quarterfinals. Beautiful frosty flick from the Finnish female player there. Pounanen. With their origins near Sipu, which is a town close to Helsinki. Very, very young player, only 20 years old. A bright future ahead of her, to be sure. To be sure, to be sure. <laughs> so Yarvi pulls off for Finland. It's going to be a roller. Jorge apparently has taken the class in how to stop a pole. Kavanaugh up, saucy throw right off the line. Moss into the center, knocked away. Finland looks to break. Just a suffocating mark from Rory, and a turf disc. And Rory streaking deep, but Jorge exercising some patience. So we'll come back in. Disc in the hands again of Kavanaugh. Kavanaugh stranded. Having to put it into Litos. Litos with the drop. I like Rory's mark on the finish play there earlier. He actually stood off a little bit. They like hitting those inside breaks, so if you stand off the yard or two, it makes it very hard for him to step around you. Rintamaki. Sarinen. Timeout called by the Finns. This will be a critical point for them. If they can put this in, 13-12, only three and a half minutes left in the game. So we will join you after this timeout. Liam Rosen and Liam Grant, Sky Magazine's coverage of the European Ultimate Championships in Copenhagen, Denmark.
Coming back in after this timeout, we see the finish setting up with a side stack, isolating one female cutter in the middle of the field. Sadinen looking for options. Looks like he's going to try to hit the around. Finland working with it. Iso Yarbi. Sadinen. Sadinen hits the big around. Very, very nice shot for the Finns and a critical goal for them. Absolutely critical as coming down towards cap, they'll go in with a one goal lead. The grandstand is shaking here, Liam. Every I'm single just... Spanish team is out supporting their players. The atmosphere is growing. Stands, Liam, absolutely going crazy. The jumping, cheering Spanish fans as Spain gets a chance to tie it up on offense. Pull will sail out of bounds. Tweet here from my amigo Kyle, American player, longtime American player for Coracota, supporting his Coracota teammates, Jorge and Josue. Kyle living in Yosemite, I think, during the summers. Actually spent some time up there, but never crossed his path. Sure, it's much nicer weather than we're having now, Liam. Yeah, it's a strange place up there. It gets quite cold at nighttime. You're high altitude. Beautiful, beautiful place to live, though. Rory hitting Diaz. Diaz hitting Puig underneath. There's going to be a foul call there. Good use of Hansen was able to finish. Uncontested foul. Albert. Very close dump from Aitor. Aitor first the disc. Looks like a pick was called downfield. Finnish player is adamant that uh, it didn't affect play. I don't know what Rory's communicating. This I'm, is a critical call for this game, Liam. Yeah. I'm unsure as to if Rory could have got there even if he hadn't stopped. I think Rory's arguing he heard the pick and stopped playing. Not exactly sure when the pick was called. Some translation happening here between Spanish, English, and Finnish. In any case, fantastic match here, Liam Grant, between two very evenly matched mixed teams. Both wanting to win and get the pass to the quarterfinals. Yeah, we changed the schedule a little bit today. Ireland mixed and Czech mixed kind of got bunked off uh, for this game. And I'm glad we made that call. This one, a nail biter. 
Hopefully the Irish mixed team can make it to the final and forgive me. So Spain will get a pass there as Disc will return to Itor. And this is where Spain really, their lack of experience may show here. It's the nerves. Foul call. Rory probably feeling like he needs to take over at this point. And a goal here would mean the difference between being two down in a game to 14 or being tied up. And this is just a huge shot. Rory, no option. Gets it into Navasa. Navasa finding Dorta. Back to Navasa. Aitor finding Kavanaugh. Kavanaugh, inside break. Dorta rips it out of the air. Very tense moment here for Spain. Aitor with the foul, and Rory Kavanaugh jumps it into the end zone. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a tie game. It's going down to universe points. Tension, tension, tension here in Copenhagen. Everyone just stand on their feet. Me and my foot. And this has been the most exciting game of the stream thus far. Very glad that we chose this one, Liam Grant. So much tension. I tore playing through that foul. And Kavanaugh getting it done for the Spanish mixed team. And a timeout has been called. I'm not sure by which team, but I said they're both glad to puddle up talk about their pride and their courage and what this means to them. And Finland will sat no in this universe point, but don't have the wind. So really anyone could take this. And I think the key here is for Spain to keep putting on their good defense, stop those inside and around breaks as they were doing earlier. Try to get the short field turn and just depend on the cheering of their Spanish compatriots. Certainly the best cheer section that we've seen from any country so far at this tournament. I know with the Irish mixed team, if we end up in a universe point situation, we always had the Davida play, which uh, Roy Kavanaugh loved, which was our best handler, which is lash it to our best receiver. And on that team is actually Sam too, Rory. So I wonder if they'll take a leaf out of our book and will the Finnish look to go deep straight away? And if they turn over, will the Spanish look to lash it? It can be often be the case in numerous point situations that teams send it deep, put, and if it's a hook and turn, put pressure on the other team. Or trust your big receiver to make the play in a crucial moment. So much pressure, so much on the line for both teams. Ladies and gentlemen, this game will decide who advances to the quarterfinals. It would be a monumentous moment for both teams. Impossible, impossible to overstate the importance of this moment. goes up from Litas. Paunonen. She's been doing big things ever since coming back from injury. Paunonen pivoting. Kaliokoski. Marked by Kavanaugh. Finds Rinta Maki. It's gonna be put deep, it's a flick hook. Lady, Litas is there! And Spain will take their time on the D. Spain with a chance to win. Rory Kavanaugh picks the disc up. 
Kavanaugh is busting it deep to lead us. Lead us just needs to make the read on this play. Oh, he grabs it. Unbelievable. Rips it off the ground. Lead us and Spain is through to the corners. Would you believe it, Liam? Absolutely fantastic finish. Oh, there could be a call here. It was definitely the David no play. No call. Retracted. It's a goal. And Spain is through. And the David play you were referencing earlier, Liam, that was exactly what was called. It was the David play. I can smell it coming. Roy Kavanaugh standing up to that disc. Absolutely unbelievable. Unbelievable. I thought when Letus was going deep that it was going to be far too late, but Kavanaugh just rips it anyway. And no working it up. Spanish team saluting the fans up here in the grandstand. What an exciting finish to an exciting game. High break for Finland. They played fantastic throughout. As you see a replay of this last second grab, a lot of contact there. Oh, and saving grace, fingertip catch. Amazing oh. play by Lidas of Dysterix. Probably would have been a foul call if he hadn't made this, but the second effort, one of the best plays of the tournament. Yeah, I don't think there was a foul there. Just it's incidental contact. Yeah. Uh, both players reading the disc differently and taking a different line and colliding. And amazing adjustment at the end to make that catch. After an exhilarating finish here, Liam Grant and Liam Rosen, we will sign off for the day on Sky Magazine. Stay tuned to our Twitter and Facebook this evening to see which games we're going to stream. And we'll see you tomorrow. Salud. 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 Salud.